I hope this top is looking better on camera than it does in real life. It's new from Forever 21 and it was only five bucks. Let me adjust this hair in a ponytail and we can start putting on peach makeup. Poreless putty putty primer <laughs> primer. So I have seen basically everyone use this, and I have not yet at all. But I have heard great things about it. Okay, let's try this primer. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, those of you that have tried this. Is this normal? I did I use like insanely too much? It, let me know. <laughs> I like that it kind of soaks in to your skin without feeling slimy or anything like that. So yeah, I mean. Do I think it's something that I'm gonna become obsessed with? No. I'm a little scared of the e.l.f. Camo Cream. The first shade I got in this was way too dark. So I picked this shade up last night. This is Light 240W Warm. So it seemed like I'm somewhere in between a 240 and a 280, but they didn't have anything between then. So thank you to my local drugstore for not carrying, but I think there was like six shades there. That's just, it's rude. Okay. I talk about It Cosmetics brushes all the time, especially their, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Complexion, yes. If you're looking for a complexion brush, specifically like powder or foundation or anything, IT Cosmetics has always been my fave. I don't know what's going on lately. Like I have an olive skin tone and this happened with the Kat Von D Good Apple a uh, foundation balm that I wanted to do a review on it, but the color was just so bad for me that I could hardly stand to even have it on. Like it just was like, well, no pictures of today's look and basically washed it off and went and did something else. I'm gonna hope that we can warm this up, add some color to it, and hopefully it'll look better in the long run. I don't know guys, I think I need to eavesdrop. I love this formula. So we're just gonna um, put some on to even me out. I don't really understand the viral TikToks about the e.l.f. this one and the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation Balm. Both of them just kind of bombed for me. Like they just did not at all work out. I love the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation. Now it's like, girl, you talk about this being a light makeup and you put on a CC cream, another foundation to even yourself out, and now powder foundation to set all the 
natural makeup. I know I am using this MAC blush. I was gonna try to keep it drugstore peachy look. So I do have this CoverGirl. I have used both of them before, love them both. So we're safe. I am going, excuse you. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers that from the drugstore, it just, it is basically like shape tape, but it doesn't have the weight and like that high coverage feeling that shape tape does. I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of blend that in under my eyes into my foundation see it's looking a little more like I match and could quite possibly know what I'm doing I'm going to take a little bit of this rare beauty concealer it is an insanely pale shade for me as you can see so I like to really brighten I feel like everybody has kind of their own concealer techniques these days and this is just uh mine lately i guess all right and just like that i have brows on i actually need to go get them uh touched up i got them microbladed like five years ago and this is still what i have to do to fill them in I brought out the Peach Palette, the Neon Obsessions Huda Beauty Palette. I don't know, I feel like being bright and obnoxious today. So I think we might go with some of these peach tones. I know there's some drama lately, but I am using the eyeshadow, P. Louise eyeshadow base because I want to. I just don't uh, get involved in the drama behind things. I just use makeup as it is meant to be used for. I did apply way, way too much. I'm going to have to share that out quite a bit. I'm going to just take this bright shade and basically put that all over my lid. Wow. Yeah, maybe just on the outer portion and maybe we can do kind of like a little wing. I'm just gonna put some, wow. I hope I can soften this into a uh, peach. I wasn't intending for an electric orange eyeshadow. My looks like this that I do a lot, this kind of style, what I like to do is actually just kind of map it out with a more pigment type shadow. For me personally, it just makes the shades, the actual shadow shades that you want to blend a lot, it just makes it easier to blend out. I feel like that's why I just didn't Take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Old Ass Contour Kit. Obviously you can see I love the banana shade, but this brush actually kind of fits into the crevice of your eye very well. So um, check the Cap on D website though, because even if you want to try 
the Good Apple foundation. She did have um, a lot more colors and shades in stock on her website rather than waiting for Sephora to, or Ulta, do they carry cat candy? Uh, basically any place else, her website, the whole brand was actually on sale 30% off. I got, uh, this is the shade Poppy. It's just a very, very, very bright orange. Or should I use the CoverGirl 345 Hot Frenzy? I even have this Essence Blush that, I don't know, I think this is fun. I think I'm gonna go for this. I feel like that's what you guys want. Either that or the Kat Von D. But I do actually really recommend uh, these blushes, but I am going to take this shade in the middle here, this peachy shade, and kind of use it to blend out this pigment and also put it on the inner part of my lid because we didn't put anything there. But uh, yeah, so far, so good, I believe, I think. I mean, we're getting places. Where, I don't know, but it's just one of those days. So how is everyone doing? King County, we are now on pause. I don't know, it seems like we are the only state now that is basically running as a, a video game. Like we are, King County is paused on phase three and Pierce County is paused on phase two. So, you know, it's just, it's just a mess here. I am going to go in to the Too Faced Peach Palette and take this Georgia shade and try to blend even more. That's my dog. I almost said my cat, because sometimes she acts like a cat. I usually don't have them upstairs with me, like during this time in my life, but they're here. So I am going to clean this up do my lashes. You know what? First, let's, I haven't used this in a long time and it is not from the drugstore. It is the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in shade four. I haven't used this in a while and I wanted to use it today. These are kind of iconic. They were definitely the first luxury bronzer that I have purchased. And to this day, I still love them. They just are actually really a good formula and a good shades too. And I believe they even, I might be wrong but I believe they actually added even more shades. What do we think? What do we think? Obviously. It's nice out today. I mean, for Seattle for this time of year, I guess you could say. I don't know. I gotta get out of here. I've lived here my whole life. 
basically, except for five years in Arizona. Okay. Um, I think that might be the max amount of blush that I should possibly ever wear. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and we will put on some lipstick and do something with my hair and I will come back. So far, I am liking the vibes. It looks way different like in normal lighting. See, I told you it would look better once I got everything together. So I do have, I wanna try this Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow. I, I've i gotta admit that I have purchased because I was so sick, I was still buying makeup. And so now I have all this makeup to use. So <laughs> yeah, we, we have lots, lots of stuff to try out. Don't you worry. Um, I like it. I'm used to something a little, you know, more, hi, I can see you from the moon. Um, I, I think it's okay. It's not, and it may be accentuating texture a little bit but or it could be that I am just really picky and critical today and no but uh yeah this shirt is from forever 21 and I'm going to foam my haul next to try on the other things I got for you, for you. I didn't get clothes for you, but I did get makeup. Make sure to check out my previous video because it is a huge makeup giveaway. Oh, need to also, I pulled out this Kylie, what is this shade? I think uh, Penelope. It's just a really light peach. Yeah, thought we could just brighten it up at least in the center there. Full on peach. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me, try on some peachy makeup, makeup look. Chloe says thank you. And make sure to subscribe if you like these kind of first impression get ready with me videos then give this video a thumbs up and definitely let me know in the comments other things that you might like to see more of on my channel. I am fixing that. Don't worry, I promised. Not by the next video because I'm filming the Forever 21 try on haul now, but yeah. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me peachy edition and I hope you are staying well and healthy and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys.